Hello friends, so I've been reviewing some of my videos and I noticed they were kind of low quality in terms of content. Like, it would just be like uh, little ramblings I make on and off. I don't know, you know, we get this live, we avoid damage, you know, then it goes into existential philosophy. Um, not in terms of finding meaning. But in terms of you know the, the afterlife, or uh, better said, the next life if we reincarnate, go to the full memory of our previous lives. Um, yeah, that's what really killed my. Uh, I, you know, I mean, I, I shouldn't give support to a candidate and then retract it because I'm not retracting it. I'm kind of ambiguous about who wins. But Trump should mess with reincarnation and be true. What if you get stuck in vitro? Now we're all scared to reincarnate. We have the fucking right to fucking reincarnate and have a great second chance at life. Or at least I do. What I think what happened with me was, is I will reunite the Hindu deities and from there I'll reincarnate or something. Something like that, you know? And I won't damage my voice. I won't self-injure. Um, I'll have a great life and all of that. I'm shooting this nicotine gum. It's not really doing it for me. Um, getting some money tomorrow, get some cigarettes. <laughs> My birthday's coming up. That's pretty cool. You know, I felt a lot more self confident. I was just as fat as I was now, but I was just as ugly as I was now. Not ugly, but you know, my face. But, um, yeah, I, I was really confident in everything. I could, like, persuade anybody and seduce any female just by my, you know, choice of words. And now I sit there awkwardly around females, like, mm. you, you know what I mean? Now they're cool though, girls are cool. They're, they're very expressive. They always, you know, they always have like an upbeat, you know, comedic, you know, besides like, you know, some crazy chicks. You know, they always find comedy in their strife and they're always, you know, very happy and you know what I mean? Like, I'll watch a video of, like, a uh, jail cell. These pretty attractive women, too. And it was being raided by the correctional officers. And then, like, once they left, the female was, like, um, she was imitating a pirate. And she was just, like, they have not found our, uh, you know, fucking, the piracy goes on. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I don't really know how phrased what she did, but. Uh, yeah, women are very cool at that. Always just like being expressive and funny and re relatable. You know, a woman's company is always worth a lot as opposed to a man's company. Like, you get a woman, you know, you spark them up just because they're a girl. You know, it just it's how it works. You know, but I mean, as a man, you get to like you get you get to have sex with women. So I mean, women have sex with women too, but. Get to like have sex with women, so um, that's always a, a good thing. You have to be like, stronger, and there's both sides to it. I think most of my viewer base is female, actually. I don't know why, but all my Facebook requests are females, so uh, the guys never want to bother. I could relate to you guys pretty well, but they don't want to bother. It's just women. They, they go here and like, oh my god, it's Zeke. And it's like, yeah, it's Zeke. Yes, I'm depressed. I don't say I'm depressed for them, but it's like, I'm depressed. I'm Zeke. Nice to meet you. Tell you I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't know how lovely you are. No, fucking overplayed song. But, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I'm just tired of this life already. Like, I want to get my money, man. How do these celebrities walk around with all their money and be like, Zeke gets nothing? I uh, have to contact the military because I'm I'm doing that right now. But they're like, oh, Z gets nothing. He, he, bro, if I still have my voice, I would just like audition for music roles, produce my music, get rich off that. I should be getting rich off my Facebook views. I mean, my YouTube views, but I'm not. I don't know how that is. I should be having a great life, you know. But I'm uh, not really there right now. I don't know. I think the, my my vocal damage is probably the number one cause of my depression. The next is my body. Um, the the third is my financial situation. 
don't know. I've been around for a while, though, politically. I'm not trying to make it sound political or paint myself as a big political figure, but I've been here since Obama, I think. I've been through Obama. I've been through Trump. I've been through two, two, two terms of Obama. I've been through Trump. I've been through Joe Biden, and now I'm on my, what, fourth president? It's fucking nuts, man. I've, I've been around for a while. Ask Obama. He'll, he'll tell you about me. <laughs> fucking Zeke. Initiating airstrikes against ISIS. <laughs> fucking. I mean, they would have done it anyways. Obama would have signed off on it anyways, but I did do something, I guess. Yeah, Russia's still painting Z under tanks for Zeka. They say it's for Zepobiedu, which means for victory, but it's not. It's for Zeka. It's for me. They paint their tanks for me. A little bit of spray paint getting me to, like, endorse them. Ukrainians are fighting for me as well. And it's just like, bro, guys, just stop. It's like watching your parents argue and instead of arguing and killing each other. You know, it's a very sad situation. So yeah, um, most of my money goes for rent anyways, but give me a check in a few weeks, that would be pretty cool. Um, I don't know man, but hey, we reincarnate, right? You want to reincarnate in like America or the Western European country, you want to reincarnate in you know, like Africa. I mean Africa is not as bad as it used to be. You know, South America or Africa or some shit. Although, um, I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of cocaine in Africa and South America. Only South America's a lot of cocaine in Africa. There's not as much, but it's there. I mean, as long as you got some rice to eat, you got some rice to eat, you got some cocaine, I mean, you're good, right? But the, it's what they give the child soldiers, they give cocaine and, like, stimulant pills so they can fight better and there are little wars. So yeah, I'm getting carton of cigarettes for my birthday too, so smoke up Johnny, if you ever seen Breakfast Club, smoke up Johnny, <laughs> that's pretty cool, um, I don't know, there'll be cake, I'll give myself a cake just to get some cake, keep on going till you run out of cake. Uh, things we learn for the people who are still alive. I think we abandoned our atheism by this point, right? Did we? Is it rational that we did? I think I think it's rational to abandon our atheism. Because you met Zeke, who is God. Well, he's Krishna, but he's, he's up there, you know? But yeah, I remember YouTube atheism. It was like, there is no proof of reincarnation. Not reincarnation. There's no proof. That's what kind of killed the brain part. There's no proof of a God. And when you die, you just die. Christians are delusional. I feel that they know that, you know, I mean, they're not delusional, but um, there's other realities aside from that. I mean, you go to heaven, right? It's like, what do you, you all forgot about this already. What, what do you expect there? Is there water? Where do you urinate? Is there food? Is there toilet paper? Is there drugs? Maybe there's all of those things, who knows? Are the women just being constantly raped by everybody, or do they separate, or do they have consensual relationships, or, like, what happens there? Can you die? Are you immune to death? I mean, you just imagine it's a good place, and that's it, but these are kind of logical questions that we don't really ponder. We just imagine it's a great place to go when you die, and you meet your family members. I mean, after an eternity, your relationships with people in this temporal world probably will be as important as the people you meet in heaven because you'll spend like eternities with them.